Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is Canada to Italia, episode 35. I know I keep changing the series title and but I mean it it just sort of makes sense, I think. And but I mean I like the continuity of pointing out that this has been going for 35 episodes. So I hope you can forgive my strange choices there. But anyway, let's get to the game, because I think things are looking pretty good for us for the Hex. Uh, not least because we start off with a game at home against Haiti. And it is chilly, 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 wet and cold and windy. Ooh, that's interesting. At BMO Field in November in Toronto. And absolutely true um, that a game could be like that in November in Toronto. Um, you may hear me say it Toronto because I grew up there and that's how people from there say it. Uh, and now you know, if you ever go there and you say Toronto, then people will know you've been there before or you know someone there. Now you know. So, I like the odds here. 1 to 8 for uh, on for us, 12 to 1. Or should I say 8 to 1 on for us, 12 to 1 outsiders here. Uh, we have won the last four matches against them. I'm pretty pleased with that. Let's have a look at who we've got. Uh, Steven Ostakio is actually broken at the moment. Um, so he's out. He's got a damaged foot. And while he is playable, he is um, still not back into... Um, full playing fitness for another 5 to 11 days and our games are in 6 or in the next 4 days so I figured I'd leave him sit and uh, and let him pass on this one it'll be a shame when we don't have him for the next game but for this one we should be okay now let me just take a moment to adjust a couple of things here instead of Hlavati I want Langwa and um, Vittoria can go there, Townsend can go there, that'll do, that'll do, I think I'm going to, no actually because it's, actually yes I will, we'll go with um, Cochell and Craig Smith up front. And we'll put these fellas on the bench. Ding, 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 ding. And there we go. Let's see what team we have. As usual, Bono in goal. Langwa Law, Tamori Simpson. Canoose with Townsend and Vittoria. Kotcha on the left. Baloo on the right. Craig Smith up front, and we're ready to go against Haiti in our first game in the Hex. Let's see how we get on. As I click and click and click to try and get into the game after my dramatic introduction. Not that that spoils it at anything. <laughs> anyway, 4-4-1-1 from Haiti. We are playing our usual 4-1-4-3-3, I guess. 4-1-2-3, I don't know. Um... I know it's effective and I'm happy with it, so that's okay. Why is making debut? This isn't his first cap. It might be his first start. Um, at least I don't think so. I could have sworn I played him over those last two games. Well, we'll find out. Enough faffing. Let's go. I don't want to waste your time. Sorry. Uh, we should ask the... Uh, let's give the fans a performance. Let's let's say play your game. All right. Well, we got a couple of important ones. That's good. I'll try that. Uh, oh, they're missing Zach Haravo. Well, that's too bad. I had him when I was at New England in the Rambler. R.I.P. the Rambler. Mori with his 120th cap today. The leading cap getter for Canada. And 
And if you happen to be new to the series, the idea here is to get Canada to the World Cup and score a single goal. Well, we got us to the World Cup. And we scored, ooh, more than one goal, that's for sure. There's Craig Smith to pot one right now. So, anyway, we did better than one goal. And uh, now we're trying to make Italia for the 2030 World Cup and see if we can get ourselves a win into the second round. So, what we're trying to do here is qualify for the World Cup. We're in the fifth round, the notorious Hex so named for the six teams in it. Um, Canada has struggled to get out of the hex in recent years. We haven't done it since 1986 when there wasn't a hex. So, yeah. Um, and the only reason we did it that year was because Mexico were hosts, so there was an, a slot going begging in the CONCACAF set. And Kochow gets himself the second goal. Off Baloo's hard work. That's really great. Things are wonderful there. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, my principles as far as picking players and so on, Canada is a land of immigrants. As far as I'm concerned, anybody who is Canadian citizen and is willing to pull on the shirt and say they're a Canadian, they're a Canadian. Um, I'm an immigrant myself. I was born in England. I didn't come here till I was 10. So I think... Um, immigrants are the strength of our country and I am firmly in favor philosophically as well as pragmatically of picking anybody who is willing to play for the team basically um, and it served us well we've got several I mean we've got some good good Canadian born players but we also have some really great immigrants Oh my goodness, Kotschow again. We are just tearing Haiti apart. Very nice. Very nice. Blue again. Three assists so far. He's our creative force. Oh, and they've got a player injured. My goodness, they're just really struggling today. I hope it wasn't nothing we did. Um, okay, it looks like he's recovering a little bit enough to get to halftime. Let's see. Yeah, he needs to come off. That's okay. Uh, let's go here first. We'll change out Craig Smith for whom? How about Liam Miller? Personalize it for him. Target man on attack. There you go. Is he actually tall? No, not particularly. Okay, nor is he a very good header of the ball. We'll stick with the low passes. Um, low crosses, I mean. All right. Team talk. I'm very pleased with your performance. Keep it going, lads. Let's roll right now. Oh dear. Numphy? Numphy. <laughs> thought for a second his name was Numpty. Numphy gets himself a goal and Haiti's back in it a little bit. I wonder. Oh, Balut. 
cobbler's taken a knock, and again it's a twisted knee. And for safety's sake, we'll take him right off. Who are we putting on in his place? That's the urgent question. Conchon Kiroz. Yes, Victor. Uh, I'm going to have to make it Kiroz, I think. I wonder if these guys would be happier on the other sides. They would. Look at that. Let's see how that goes. One more sub. Looks like Jamie Victoria has gotten himself a little on the tired side. Mm. Let's take a second and look at him and see who might fit in well there. How about Matt Townsend? No, he's very tired looking. Tristan Borges will do. All right, let's go. Oh, it remains very hot here. Now, I know that hot is a relative thing what is hot for us is not necessarily hot for you, but bear in mind I have no air conditioning. Um, and the lowest the temperature has been, even in the middle of the night, has been 24 degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know, a certain number in Fahrenheit. Um, but the daytime highs have been more in the range of 33, 34, 35. And, uh, oh, hello, Liam Miller with a goal. That's nice. What a nice way to finish a game out. And um, we're also just not used to this level of heat. It gets, it gets warm here in the summer, but it doesn't usually get crazy hot like this until late July, maybe mid-August. And even then, only for a couple of weeks. But uh, this has been here for several days now and is um, accompanied by some heavy, heavy humidity that is absolutely making it difficult to sleep and bleh, it's just really awful. So, enough complaining about that. We've gone and beaten Haiti 4-1. to one. Three goal or four goals from different forwards, three different forwards. I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, good win, boys. Well done. Go on, then. There you go. I tend to stay with, <coughs> excuse me, calm comments, unless I have something important to say or they played particularly poorly or particularly well. Um, I stick with calm almost all the time. And... I find that because of that, when I go to even assertive, let alone aggressive, um, I get great results because they do um, get get worn out in terms of how they um, how things are doing. Uh, oh, I wonder if you can see it on the on the f um, national team level. I bet you can't. No, I bet you cannot. So, yeah, that's too bad, but um, with a club team, you can um, definitely do that, and uh, it's it's very handy. Enough faffing about, oh my goodness, I'm chatty, 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 chatty today. Had a very energizing comment yesterday. I have to be absolutely grateful to Tofinlandius. That was really helpful. It happened to be yesterday, my six-month anniversary of starting this channel. I started it on January 1st, and it was July 1st yesterday, so happy birthday to me. And I'm happy doing it. I'm really still happy doing it. So I hope you're enjoying watching it, and I will be back in a moment with a game against Mexico at the Azteca. Ooh. And we're back. 
It's time for the next game. I've set up the team. We're ready to go. Less faffing this time. Let's see what we can get on with it. Bono, Hlavati, Log, Tomori, and Plöger. Brogiard in midfield behind Araujo and Vittoria. Actually, I might swap those two around. Yes. And I think he likes advanced playmaker. So let's personalize that and put him there. All right. And Vittoria also wants to be a playmaker, so he's not going to be. So that's all right. Kiroz on the left, Kocho on the right, and Air up front. We lost, by the way, the reason Kocho is on the right and not our wonderful creative force, Baloo Tabla. We lost Tabla and Craig Smith to injury uh, in the last game. Both of them came off with twisted knees. Both of them are out for four to seven days. So they've been withdrawn from the team, and we brought up a couple of replacements. And uh, Kocho moves over to the right. Uh, where he started on the left with Baloo on the right last time. Enough faffing, let's move. Okay, this is Mexico. This is Mexico. They're, it's an attacking lineup. They are ready to go. Um, this is going to be something else, and I have a strong feeling they're going to just overrun us here so we'll see how we do but uh, there's Pineda in the midfield he's very good um, we'll have to see what we can to try and counter him speaking of countering we need to do some revenging that'll do nicely now tactically we want to be doing counter there we go. And Dave Ayer doesn't play poacher. He plays complete forward. That's much better. All right. There we go. Um, I don't know how we only have, you know, X familiarity with this fami with this formation. I've literally used it for six years. So, I mean, unchanged. We haven't done anything else for at least six years. So, yeah, I'm not really sure about that. That's a little weird. Hand over and team talk. Let's go. Um, we suffered defeat last time. We're professional enough to do this right. Uh, you can set the tone. I said I can see you can set the tone and do the thing. Let's go. Oh, why did you back off? Gotcha was there, and then he just sort of seemed to back off. Whoa. That was close. <laughs> that was very close hammered off the inside of the post. Here comes a corner for Mexico. Which I think I'm going to call Mexico because I call Haiti Haiti because that's what people in Haiti call it. So why not call Meiko Meiko, because that's what Meikens call it. Bono's getting the job done, despite the fact we're being more or less overrun. That's a quarter of the game gone, boys. You're doing well. They've got a few nervous guys. We don't. We've got a couple of yellow cards, and they don't. I'll make that change. Well, this has gone better than I expected. Our 
defense is holding up somewhat. I mean, yes, they've had a lot of shots, but they've been long shots and uh, not effective shots. Not so far. Stay there on the break. No. I'll just keep going with the revenging. That's usually pretty good. Revenge! I want to see more from some of these guys, but they are doing a pretty decent job, and honestly, I would take a point. If we can get out of the Azteca with a point, I'm going to call that a win. This is not a game we expect to win. This is, you know, by far the best team in North America. And, uh, what can I say? They tend to win. I should be interested to see how the Mexico-Brazil game goes today because I don't think it might be the same walkover that a lot of people are thinking it will. Mexico have had some really good results against Brazil over the last couple of decades, whatever you want to call it. Anybody need to come off? Yeah, Kiros is not having a good game. I was really hoping he would too. Alright, who do we bring on? Let's bring on somebody exciting, like Davis. And, um, I think we'll bring on M Malik. No, that's not Malik, that's, ha that's Townsend. I won't, I don't want Townsend, I want Malik Hamilton. Come on. Didn't I pick Malik Hamilton? I just sworn I did. I guess I didn't. Okay, well, never mind. Um, I'm going with Borges. No, Townsend. Alright. And... I don't want to go without a defensive midfielder, but I don't want to just give up on the game either. Still, we'll carry on doing what we're doing and seeing if we can pull off a an upset draw. I think I'll go over to the attack in about five minutes. And we're on the attack. Come on, boys. Oh, what a dreadful pass. Straight to their guy. Conchao Araujo. His long ball is ahead too far. And that's going to be it. One nothing away at the Azteca. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. It could be a lot worse. 
it certainly has done almost no harm to our um, what do you call it I wouldn't say I'm not happy because I thought that was fairly disappointing and I don't care about those guys feeling demotivated. I think they need to buck up their ideas a little bit. All right, so we're off to a reasonable start. We didn't expect to beat Mexico away. That's really not likely to happen. Um, but that's the only time we have to play them away, so that's not too bad. Next game, next episode, I should say, which comes out on Wednesday, we'll have the U.S. at home at BMO Field in February which should be entertaining because I'm sure it'll be just lovely weather in February in Toronto so yeah and then we get to go to Jamaica in the middle of February so that's kinda nice too that'll be a nice getaway and that's gonna do it for this episode Blah, 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 blah. And let's go back over here and hit this button over here and say it's time to do all of those things like dropping a like and hitting subscribe if you haven't already. And, you know, all of that stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope you're having a great day and take care.